Kurt Schilling, the former legendary pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, recently revealed on his podcast that his former teammate and knuckleball specialist Tim Wakefield had been diagnosed with brain cancer and that Wakefield had recently undergone surgery. However, his announcement of the news didn't come with favorable reactions from everyone, including Catherine Veritek, the wife of another former Red Sox player, Jason Veritek. Based on her reaction, it seems that this wasn't news Schilling was supposed to share. Unfortunately, less than a week after the diagnosis was revealed by Schilling on his podcast, Tim Wakefield passed away from his cancer battle. He will forever be remembered by his family, friends, and sports fans across the world. As mentioned, Wakefield stamped his name on baseball history with his knuckleball prowess. It was his go-to pitch throughout his career, but was only discovered after joining the Red Sox. Born in Melbourne, Florida, Wakefield was drafted in the eighth round and 200th overall by the Pirates in 1988. He made his debut on July 31, 1992 with the team. After a few stints in the minor leagues with the Pirates, the team released him on April 20, 1995. After signing with the Red Sox six days later, Wakefield went to work with Phil and Joe Necro, who encouraged Wakefield to use the uncommonly used pitch. Wakefield spent more than a decade with the team, joining in 1995 and retiring in 2011. He was an All-Star in 2009, won two World Series titles, and finished with a 200-180 record, 4.41 ERA, and 2,156 strikeouts. He finished third in the Cy Young voting in his first season with Boston, where he went 16-8 with a 2.95 ERA, 195.1 innings pitched, and 119 strikeouts. He is survived by his wife, Stacy, and their two children, Trevor and Brianna. Rest in peace to Tim Wakefield, a beloved member of the baseball community for more than three decades as both a player and as a broadcaster. You will be missed.